After four inconclusive elections in two years, Israel finally decided on a government. But as we speak, a plantation issue has now thrown the coalition into a crisis. A controversial tree planting program resumed in the south of the country. Tensions arose shortly when those opposing the resumption started to protest. On the third day of protest, clashes began between the demonstrators and the police. At least 11 people have been arrested so far, 18 more were detained a day before. Following the crisis, the program was halted by Israel's welfare minister, Mir Kohen, has brokered a temporary deal with the group agitated by the plantation program. It has also been decided that all heavy machinery will be removed from the site while the talks are ongoing. The country's foreign minister, Yair Lapid, condemned the clashes and urged all sides to stay calm. Further said that the government has a right to plant trees, but it should not harm livelihoods in the process. The planting resumed under the heavy police guard. Because protests and tensions were expected, a tribe called the Bedouin has demonstrated against this program in the past as well. This Arabic-speaking tribe believes that the program is aimed at encroaching their lands. But the government has said that the thousands of people from this tribe are living on publicly owned land, which is meant for foresting. The Bedouin has a continuous relationship with the state. It has had one for decades. The government has sought to move them into recognized planned cities, but nothing has happened so far. One of the coalition partners is the Raham Party, which has been traditionally against the plantation program. Some leaders of the Raham Party were also expected to join the talks. Mansour Abbas, who is the head of the Arab party, has threatened that if the forestation continues, then his party will stop voting for the coalition. But remember, with the razor-thin parliamentary majority of 61 seats in the 120-seat Neset, the coalition is reliant on Raham support. So the program has set off a coalition crisis with the Islamist Rahan party on one side and the Naftali Bennett right-wing party on the other. The opposition seems to be using this conflict in their favour. They're calling the government weak in the face of pressure from Arab legislators. And our correspondent Jody Cohen has been tracking this story very closely. She reports from a plantation area in Israel's Kadima region. Listen in. I'm standing in a KKL JNF forest, much like the one that is planned for the Negev, bringing forestation to the desert. However, the Bedouin community who live nearby in structures that were built without planning permission on state land are concerned that they could be moved on. This follows decades of attempts to offer housing to the Bedouin community in recognized planned cities, which many rejected, not wanting to move to a nearby area. Now the tree planting plans have the potential to upset the fragile coalition government with Ram, whose voter base is the Bedouin community, refusing to vote while discussions on this issue take place. This is Jody Cohn for Weon, World is One. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.